Dub C here, and we're back to another MRE Rash Review. Doing some outside cold weather camping. It's breakfast time and I'm hungry. So let's bust out the JW Speaker MRE 24 hour ration. This thing is massive. Just got this recently in a mail call from JW Speaker. I'm really excited to open it up ever since I got it. So let's open it up and see what we got. All right, so we have the JW Speaker 24 hour ration. It's got the American flag on this side. We got the 24 hour ration freeze dried. Perfect for cold weather. All right, let's see what's in this 24 hour ration. It's packed very nice. First thing we got is so natural, freeze dried banana slices. Excellent. We have two packages of Jif to go, peanut butter. Cannot go wrong with that at all. We have uh, chocolate silk, never had that one. Peanut butter chocolate flavored spread. And then we have the traditional Jif to go creamy peanut butter. Next thing is a Peak Refuel Brownie Bites. Wow, again, another item I've not had before. A lot of new items. Looks like a module. We'll go ahead and open that in a moment. Okay, we got our first main, Peak Refuel Mountain Berry Granola. This is an excellent main and it'd be good for breakfast or lunch. We have Imperial Nuts Fruit and Nut Blend. Looks like a nice uh, trail mix. We have a veggie chip, carrots. Again, new item to me, but I love the veggie chips. We have a toothpaste plus, to uh, plus toothbrush kit, so that's awesome. A little hygiene in there. We have moon cheese, cheddar believe it. Crunchy bites of golden delight. It's like a freeze dried, uh, or maybe just a yeah, maybe a freeze-dried uh, cheese. We have a MRA spoon, and then we also have a utensil kit. Where we have two jams, it looks like, packaged in bubble wrap. Excellent idea to keep them safe. First thing is strawberry preserves. One of my favorites. Looks like a high-quality jam. Okay, Mike's Hot Honey infused with chilies. That's going to be awesome. A little bit sweet and spicy. I do want to emphasize he packed this thing perfectly uh, so when you if you were to shake it or how it was handled it would not get damaged everything was packaged very nice seen the main so let's go ahead and bust out the mountain house adventure meals chickling and dumplings excellent main right there we have a package of uh, tissue always useful out here we have another uh, main which is the Hatch green chili mac and cheese. So hopefully that's a, uh, yeah, it's elbow pasta, pepper jack cheese, and hatch green chili. That sounds amazing. We got some Baja jerky, lime, serrano pepper, beef jerky. Again, another item I have not had, but very excited to try. We have some hand sanitizing wipes. Another thing that I always suggest that rations should have, and it's a pack instead of just one, so you can clean your hands before and after. And uh, looks like a real on-the-go peach drink. That's awesome. And then we have a package of crackers. Okay, that's the contents of the box, but we still have this giant module to check out. Okay, for the looks like snack and drink module, we have some sesame snaps, like a sesame bar. We have a Luna, looks like two favorite flavors, one lemon, lemon zest and blueberry. We have a Hammond's Chicken and Waffles Milk Chocolate with Maple Syrup. Again, another great new item I've never tried and looks excellent. We have some Everest Peppermint Chewing Gum. Ooh, look at that. Pour over coffee. Kuju Light Roast Angel Landing. That's going to be for breakfast. We have a Bigelow Constant Comment Black Tea. Some wild berry celestial seasonings, uh, herbal tea. Got, uh, looks like maybe two in there. We got Biscoff biscuits. We have some grape fruit leather. This thing is just packed full of awesome stuff. We have some Reed's butterscotch candies. We have a Tabasco chipotle. 
I'm using that for sure. And then a Taster Choice coffee. They have a beverage base cranberry grape. And then two Land Lakes Cocos. One's Chocolate Supreme, raspberry, and the other one's Raspberry Chocolate Cocoa Mix. We have the last module that looks like the seasonings and uh, set up for the coffees. Let's go and open it up. We got some creamer, some sugar in the raw, another creamer. We have some, uh, looks like, I believe that's pepper. Two packages of Mrs. Dash, a salt package, and then three more sugar in the raw. Okay, JW Speaker, you made one heck of a ration. I am very excited to try it all out. We got breakfast laid out. And I don't know how you pack so good in that box. I'm not as good as that, but uh, it's okay. Okay, opening up that box just made me more, even more hungry because there's so many great items I want to try. So I got breakfast laid out. I have the mountain berry granola, got some freeze-dried banana slices, grapefruit leather, Biscoff biscuits, Mike's hot honey, chocolate supreme cocoa mix, and then the coffee. And I might mix these two together. I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and get the mountain berry granola mixed up. It says add uh, one cup of cold water to pouch, so it's a cold cereal, which I enjoy. I prefer cold over the hot cereals. Once we open it up, you got to get the oxygen tab out. And then we have lots of big chunks of strawberries, berries. Go ahead and add the water and give it a good mix. Sorry, mixing up and it's got like a strawberry milk. It's gonna be awesome. Got the hot water warming up for my coffee or mocha. I'm gonna use the Purell hand sanitizing wipe before I start eating. Here we have the So Natural banana slices, freeze dried. I'm gonna put these right here. We got the Stretch Island grapefruit leather. Oh, that looks really good. I did bring on the Stesame Snaps because they are pretty tough in the cold, so I'll probably use my hot drink to soften them up. Got the Biscoff Biscuits. Having the Mike's Hot Honey with those. Here we got our hot water for our coffee, so we're going to open this. This is a pour over, which makes great coffee. Looks like a light roast. Place it on my wooden cup. Smells absolutely amazing. We'll just add the hot water. Okay, now I'm just gonna try the coffee by itself. That's an amazing coffee. Excellent light roast. It's not overly strong, not overly bitter, just very smooth, great coffee flavor, but I love a mocha. So I'm gonna add the Land Lakes cocoa to it. Now we got the hot drink made up. I'm gonna take these sesame bars they actually look like they come in like little snaps where you can break them out, but they're rock solid right now, so I'm just going to toss them in the hot drink. All right, now that sesame bar is nice and tender. Let's go ahead and try it out. That worked out excellent. The sesame bar, uh, much fresher than in any ones I've ever had. The most I've had is from rations, and that one was very, it, didn't, it wasn't nearly as hard to eat when I softened it with the hot uh, cocoa. This is the mocha. I'm going to try it, wash it down with that. Wow, that's some of the richest, creamiest, hot cocoa I've ever had and it's not overly sweet and mixed with that coffee the infused flavor that is amazing that is excellent for breakfast great choices let's go ahead and try some of this grapefruit leather oh this is excellent this is a, a natural grape flavor not overly sweet there's no I bet there's no sugar added to that it's just very, it's actually very tart and very enjoyable let's go ahead and try some of these freeze-dried bananas freeze-dried bananas always great to me they always have a nice crunch and then they reconstitute in your mouth really well great banana flavor now we're gonna try some of this I want actually want to try some of this honey just by itself first see how much of a kick it's got it's got the chilies added to it infused with it so we're gonna give them a try okay do not underestimate this stuff it has a kick it is uh, excellent to me but if you don't like hot stuff it'll definitely burn you um, let's go ahead and try some on this biscuit. I absolutely love it. Sometimes you see some things infused with chilies, and it's just so slight that you can't really tell. 
I can definitely tell there's hot chilies in here. Let's try it on the biscuit. This stuff is amazing. JW, you gotta tell me where you got this because I need some more of this. Putting on the biscuit, you get that crunch and the sweetness from the biscuit, and then that heat kicks in from the chilies. Excellent combination. Now it's time for this main. Should be reconstituted by now. Oh yeah, it's looking real good. Here we got big chunks of strawberries, the granola, blueberries. Let's go ahead and try it out. Okay, this is an excellent main. I almost couldn't stop myself from eating it. I love strawberries. And then the fact it made like a strawberry milk. The strawberries have a sweetness to them. The blueberries are very tart. And then you have the crunchy granola. It all meshes so well together. Excellent, excellent main. Okay, I've been very impressed with breakfast. I'm excited for lunch and dinner. But I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and I'll see you guys back at lunchtime. Okay, we are back for lunch. We got the JW Speaker 24 hour ration. Say, our breakfast was amazing. For lunch, we got the peach drink. We have the two Jif to go creamy peanut butter. We got chocolate silk. We got some strawberry jam to go with the peanut butter. Tabasco chipotle to go with the main. We have the Luna mashups, lemon zest blueberry bar. We have the fruit and nut blend. We have some vegetable crackers to go with the main and the peanut butter and jelly. The main is backpackers pantry, green hatch, green chili, mac and cheese. Okay, we have the water warming up for the main. Go ahead and uh, mix this peach drink. I'm just gonna add the water to the package. That way I don't have to clean the cup. Calls for a three DL. Open up these crackers. I'm gonna have these with dinner as well, but uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and get some out for there's quite a few of them. I've never had this kind of cracker before. Let's go ahead and try it out. It's a vegetable cracker. Overall, it's very subtle vegetable flavor. It makes a great cracker. Nice crunch. Uh, it's like a butter vegetable. Really good. Open up the Looney Bar. You can see like um, the lemons the bottom and like the blueberries the top. Imperial Nuts Fruit and Nut Blend. And a little tear notch on the side. And this has golden raisins, cranberries, cashews, almonds, and regular raisins. I'm going to go ahead and take a handful of that right now. That looks amazing. Yeah, this is an excellent snack. The golden raisins, raisins, cranberries. They uh, have a lot of flavor, and then you get the crunch, salty crunch from the cashew and almonds. This would be a great snack. Now, these rations come in 24 hours. You can mix and match how you want. I just put the meals together how I think, but that's the great thing about just getting a box of food and kind of picking what you want. The hot water's ready to go, so we're gonna open up the main. Take a look at that before we uh, add the water. Get our oxygen tab out. You can see the noodles right there and the sauce underneath it inside that hot water all right here we go once we have the hot water let's mix it up all right now we'll try out the strawberry jam or it's strawberry preserves and we'll just go with our traditional peanut butter for now I'll throw some on a cracker make a little peanut butter and jelly cracker so i love peanut butter and jelly All those strawberry preserves are excellent. Really good. And I love Jeff. I'm ready to go. Excellent salty cracker. Sweet and savory mix. But I definitely want to try this chocolate spread. Never had this one before. So we'll just uh, add to that cracker and do like a chocolate strawberry peanut butter dessert. That's what I'm talking about. Dang, the regular peanut butter is excellent. But this chocolate spread... That's awesome. It's not overly sweet, and it's not like a heavy chocolate flavor. It's just a nice blend, and it still has a strong peanut butter flavor to it, which I can really enjoy. So now I'll try the lemon zest blueberry bar. Okay, that bar is gone. That is fantastic. The, the lemon flavor, very natural, and it does take like, like a lemon zest, not artificial lemon flavor. And the blueberry, same way. Usually these bars have like a chemical taste to them, not this one. I'll definitely be looking for more of those. Okay, it's time to try the main... The noodles filled out really nice. And actually, it looks like there's like cheese curds or chunks of cheese in there. Let's go ahead and uh, try it a bite. Yeah, I believe the little chunks of cheese are pepper jack cheese. And man, they recount to great. The noodles are very soft, not crunchy at all. And that sauce has a kick. Again, if you don't like hot stuff, you're not going to like this. But if you like hot stuff, definitely. It's like a spicy mac and cheese. Now we're going to go ahead and spice it up a little bit more. So I'm going to add some to a cracker. Then we're going to add some of this Tabasco Chipotle sauce. 
All right, that should fire it up a bit. All that stuff definitely did the ticket. That Tabasco Chipotle has a nice smoky hot flavor and it matches great with that mac and cheese crunch from the cracker. And now that I need to cool down from all the spice, let me go ahead and try it, the peach drink. Oh yeah, that did the ticket. Nice peach, natural peach flavor, very refreshing. These are excellent drink mixes. But overall, fantastic lunch. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and I'll see you guys at dinner time. Okay, it's dinner time. The conclusion of the JW Speaker 24 hour ration. This thing's been awesome for breakfast, awesome for lunch. Now I'm excited to dig into dinner. For dinner, we have the Baja Jerky, which is lime, serrano, pepper, and beef jerky. Added some Mike's Hot Honey to that. I wanna combine those. I wanna see all that taste. We have some veggie chip carrots, moon cheese, cheddar, believe it, crunchy bites of golden delight. I'm really excited for these Peak Refuel Brownie Bites, premium freeze dried. I got some Mrs. Dash. Oh, I'm gonna try it out on this chicken and dumplings main from a uh, mountain house. We have some Reed's Butterscotch Candies, and then Hammond's Chicken and Waffle Milk Chocolate with Maple Syrup. And for the drink, I'm doing a American MRA Beverage Based Cranberry Grape. It's a really good one. I got 20 ounces of cold water right here. Let's go ahead and add it to this. And I have some vegetable crackers that are already opened up from lunchtime. Let's go ahead and open up the Baja Jerky, see what that looks like. Oh man, I gotta try a piece right now. Baja jerky, that stuff is awesome. Really uh, get the lime flavor coming through, the serrano pepper, and then it's got a little indicator down here. It says sweet two, heat seven. Let's take that heat up a little bit. It is a little bit zesty, but let's add a little bit of sweetness, add a little bit of, this honey surprises me because of how, how much heat it has. Now we'll try that beef jerky. Well, that's an excellent combination. We took the sweet to about a five and the heat to about 15. Definitely has a kick. This honey is amazing. Go ahead and open these veggie chips up. Slices of carrot. Oh, that's really cool. Check out these brownie bites. And they filled the bag, like seriously. This thing is stuffed. Put some of those over there. It's got a little oxygen tab in there. But yeah, I see in the bag, it's loaded. Okay, we got some moon cheese. It's keto friendly, like a little cheese crisp. The hot water's almost ready for the chicken and dumplings, but we'll go ahead and open that up, get that ready to go. Big old chunks of meat, vegetables, and I believe those are the dumplings as well. Now let's go ahead and try some of these carrots, veggie chip carrots. Wow, those are actually like a sweet carrot. Re dehydrated, nice crunch to them, very natural flavor. You can definitely tell that uh, they're high quality. Go and try some of this moon cheese. I thought it was similar to like a palm crisp or some other cheese, but it's not. It's actually very light and it's not as like hard. It's very crunchy, but it's not like break your tooth hard. It's really nice flavor. It's like a mild cheddar. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm just very impressed by these. Right, let's try some of these fu chocolate fudge brownie bites. They did a great job with these. At first it's like crunchy, but as it reconstitutes, you get like a like a bark flavor from the brownie. And bark, like the edges of the brownie is my favorite. So as you chew them and reconstitute, that's the flavor you get. It's a rich, dark chocolate, like enhanced flavor. They did an excellent job of that. Okay, the hot water's ready for the chicken and dumplings. Calls for 11 ounces, hot water. All right, let's go ahead and open up this chocolate bar. This is a kind of a rare chocolate bar. I've never heard of any kind of flavors like that. It's actually really big. Nice little piece broken off already. Then we have some butterscotch candies. Got, getting our dessert ready. They're individually wrapped. Okay, main is ready to go. Looking very hearty. Let's go ahead and try it out. You can see the peas, carrots, big chunks of chicken, and the dumplings. That reminds me of a pot pie. A little bit more than turkey tetrazzini. Has the same seasonings, same gravy, but the dumplings. They bring out like the crust flavor. And wow, it comes together so well. But we got a little Miss Dash I want to try. We got like a seasoning blend. We'll go and throw some of that to see if we can zest it up a little bit. Yeah, okay, mix it up. Let's go ahead and try it with that seasoning. Oh, that seasoning definitely changes the flavor profile. It's more of a like a vegetable soup now 
but still really flavorful. I gotta get myself a mega bite. We got the vegetable cracker. Throw some of this on there. Throw some of these crunchy carrots. Go ahead and try that out. Oh, that's a home run. You got the vegetable crackers, the crunchy carrots, and a little sweetness. And then that Mrs. Dash enhanced chicken and dumpling. All went to grow the grape. But I want to try this chocolate. Very intrigued on the flavor. Oh, yeah, I can see how it's like a, a sweet and savory. It has um, like wafers in there. It reminds me of the waffles. Bits of like salt or like maybe even chicken itself. And then the sweetness comes from like the maple syrup. It is a very subtle milk chocolate flavor. It's more of a just a sweet and savory, you know, with the like a salt and sweet. But overall, it's very high quality chocolate, I can tell that. Now we'll try this buttersotch candy. All right, I got it unwrapped, let's try it out. All oh, those are very nice. Not like your traditional hard candies. Initially, when you go, you put it in your mouth, it has like a chewy exterior. And it, as, it, as it warm, you warm it up, it actually like turns into like a chew or a toffee butterscotch flavored very high quality flavor those are excellent well man this dinner is has been great i'm gonna go ahead and wash that down with the uh cranberry drink cranberry grape american and murray drink it's definitely one of my favorite drinks it has the essence of that cranberry and then the grape and it is also sugar free so it's a nice bonus another fantastic meal i'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and we'll head to recap okay time for the recap of the jw speaker mre 24-hour ration freeze-dried this thing was amazing really enjoyable i'm all camping and it worked out great i had it for breakfast lunch and dinner and i was impressed with each meal each meal contained a mixture of like new items i haven't tried and very high quality items for each one the mains the breakfast the granola mountain berry that was amazing it was like strawberry milk with the granola had the sweet had the uh, tartness of the blueberry and then that spicy honey that was awesome and definitely mvp i really enjoyed it i could eat that with pretty much everything the crackers it went with everything and it went great with that Baja jerky. Lunch, we had the mac and cheese that was spicy. Mixed that with the chipotle hot sauce. Another big win. And then dinner, we had the chicken and dumplings. And then we had the um, Mrs. Dash. We could change that up and then put the vegetable on there. I had the carrots and those brownie bites. Amazing. All great items and a lot of them I haven't tried. And there's still quite a bit left over. On top of the fact, I think it's a great idea. He had the hygiene items such as the wipes, uh, having you know 10 available for cleanup, and then before and after, the toothbrush, the Kleenex, all well thought out. Definitely tell that JW took his time and built this right. I don't know if you have them for sale, J JW, but if you do, I think people will definitely buy them, and uh, I would definitely get a couple more as well. He did a great job, but JW has a uh, channel on YouTube as well. I'll put the link down below, definitely check him out. But thanks again for sending my way, JW. It was awesome ration. Hope to try many more just like it. So that's all I got now. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.